In today's video, I'll show you guys all the locations of all the NPCs, starting off with Brutus over at Pleasant. So, Brutus, what does he offer? This is where he's located. If you are new, tap that subscribe. Let's jump in. Okay, Brutus, what does he offer? He offers bandages and a frenzy auto shotgun. Pretty cool to have Brutus in. It's kind of neat because obviously this all links to Midas. We'll talk more about that in a separate story video, but let's keep moving through. Next one, we've got Bravo Leader, who's going to be located at Snooty Steps. Bravo is going to be offering a few different things, so let's talk to him and see what he's going to offer. This is where you can find him, where Peter was located last season. He's going to offer the ability to challenge him for an AR, the ability to hire him for 250, or the ability to buy an AR for 300. So if you haven't got enough gold, you can challenge the fella if you want to. Mario Gold. Mario Gold's going to be located over at this side over here on the map. I'll show you guys where that is in a second. You can actually find her just south of Snooty over here. So that's where Mario Gold's located, and she will be able to talk to for quests, obviously. The wings and the pistol is what she offers if you want to go and land over at Mario Gold. So pretty cool stuff. That is where Mario Gold is located i do like her she's a really cool one and she will go through some of the storyline quests with you if you would like to talk to her and are interested in that again we'll talk about that in a separate video but the hunt for midas begins all right next one we've got is coming in with aphrodite then she's going to be located just to the right of marigold over here and you'll find her just at this location you can hire aphrodite which is really nice you can also get her smg and you can ask her about different stuff as well like mortals and zeus's past so a lot of lore and stuff they've put into the npcs I do like it when they do stuff like this but again it's not always consistent because things like this can get lost quite easily in a few seasons time because the npc won't always be here but that's a side topic you can see i'm going through some of the dialogue and feel free to go over yourselves and talk to her or just read the dialogue on screen as it's popping up so yeah really nice to see that aphrodite is located there tnt is back as well from chapter 2 season 2 she's going to be located just below uh, this section here just by the fields you can see her just to the left of the fields just by pleasant as well and she's going to offer cluster and she's also going to offer the hammer pump shotgun in epic so yeah do go and check her out if you're interested in them weapons you'll find her over there producer is going to be coming in over at fencing fields just on the outer skirts she'll be rotating around and you'll find her around here and you can talk to medusa and see what she has to offer she's a pretty cool skin and definitely one of my favorite ones in the battle pass and she'll have the ability to make you go disguise obviously you can get the shockwave grenades and more lore where you can ask her about different stuff you can ask her about the curse if you're interested in that and you can continue continue on with that and you can also ask her about i believe it's going to be ask about let's press it it's going to be the myth so you can ask her about the myth as well if you are interested in the myth as well so really nice to see that medusa has all these things for offering definitely come and land at her if you do get the opportunity to do that so next one we've got is meowzles meowzles is going to be located inside of the field just south uh, just to the right of the fields meowzles is back as well from chapter two season two these are so cool to have all of these back it's kind of hinting towards Midas obviously you can hire Meowzles as well he also offers the gatekeeper shotgun the gatekeeper shotgun sorry and you can ask him about Midas he'll tell you a little bit he says he's like his boss and just some little bit of lore about Midas it's really cool to have that back in the game and you can also ask him about ghost and shadow and the situation got really messy and it's really cool you have to pick your sides and this is just really cool lore stuff which you don't usually get so I'm really happy that they've done this with Meowzles next one is Poseidon which is just one of the funniest skins this season and Poseidon's going to be located over at the main railway station on the map you can come in and go and check out Poseidon he's obviously the slurpy version here of him and it's just so cool to have I love this I think it's a funny version of Poseidon I do hope we get a proper version for those that really do like Poseidon but still this is pretty cool you can hire Poseidon he also obviously offers Chug Splash the Warhammer as well shotgun and you can ask uh, not, not shotgun AR and you can ask him about dolphin surfing if you really want to so yeah feel free to talk to him about that I love the little lore stuff they've done so Poseidon is located here at the railways and he's just so funny so come and check him out obviously he doesn't like Hades so yeah go and check him out it's cool little lore easter egg I don't want to spoil all these though you but you can read them or go and read them for yourself when you talk to the NPC so that's where Poseidon's located next one we've got is Miner uh, this one's going to be coming in over a located of uh, Rebel's Roost on the top left of the map and you'll find it just there and then up here she will be offering a few different things as well the ability to challenge her also the ability to hire her and even buy the reap a sniper to be honest i wouldn't challenge these npcs but they're not that hard to defeat if you're desperate for loot you could 
So that's where she's located. All right, next one we've got is going to be Jules. So Jules is back as well from Chapter 2, Season 3. Jules is going to be Midas' daughter, and she'll be offering shockwaves and a shotgun. However, she has no dialogue, so you can't find any lore related to Jules inside of the map with talking to her, which is kind of weird. I thought maybe they would add that in. Artemis is next. Artemis is going to be coming over at Lavish Layer. These are all like the old POIs where all the bosses did spawn. Unfortunately, someone had eliminated Artemis here, maybe previously challenged but you can ask her about different things and you can also buy the AR. So really cool. Artemis' location over at the Lavish Layer. Again, more lore stuff. Definitely worth checking out if you're in this position and like to ask these questions. Definitely do it. If you do get a free moment, though, guys, don't forget you can pop onto Toy Box as well. All of the new guns and items are inside of Toy Box now. So feel free to head on in there, go and try them out, give them a go, and I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. I've been playing it a while and a lot of people are enjoying it. So yeah, pop in there if you want to anyway. So, yeah, that was Artemis. Anyway, let's move on over to the next one, which is going to be uh, Laguna. And I think that's how you pronounce it. I may be pronouncing it incorrectly. I've not heard of this one before. So let's go and check where this one is located. And it's going to be just on the snow biome on the outer skirts by Grand Glacier. And it looks like this one is going to be on the stairs. And she's up here. Oh, it's this skin here. Yeah, I don't have this one, so that's probably why. And then you can hire it, and you can get the Thunder Burst SMG. Nothing too major, but the ability to hire them is also fun as well. Hiring NPCs is always good. It's a shame you can only hire one used to be able to hire more than one in the past but that was the past sadly we don't do that anymore sky's also back as well sky's from chapter 2 season 2 one of the most famous bosses back in the day as well sky's ar was just super powerful sky's going to be located uh, not in the shark anymore but it looks like she's now going to be located over on this side of the map and you can buy the wings and the uh Harbinger smg if you want that the harbinger smg so that's pretty cool and the wings of osiris as well probably the best thing right now for movement in the game and she's just north of the court location classy court so yeah check her out if you want to spartan assassin is a new one as well which has been added in again another one which i highly recommend hiring if you want this is one of the better ones to hire you'll find her in kind of just an outer skirts location a lumber yard it has been here in the past this place and uh, you can go and talk to her and she's one of the uh, spartan assassins here where you can challenge her you can also hire her and you can get access to one of the ars the huntress dmr if you want Want that as well so that's where she's located definitely worth a hire if you want to it's up to you though it's optional it's not 100 percent needed okay hope is next hope's gonna be located inside or just on the oh yeah in the inside actually of grand glacier so we're gonna head in here you'll find her in the big hotel and here she is hope let's see what she has to offer for us she obviously offers activate a rift a reaper sniper and also the ability to ask about valeria so we can find out what's happened to her that's pretty cool because this is her sister to valeria so some more lore there if you are interested in that we'll talk a separate video on it you can also ask about the society uh, they've just completely uh, gone so yeah kind of cool and you can even ask about the underground as well the underground was a success so basically kind of tying in last season to this season this npc does that quite nicely so all the laws there covered if you want to read it you can wind back the video i'm not going to cover it in this video i'll do a separate video talking about that but i hope you guys have enjoyed if you guys want to try out all the new weapons and guns don't forget to head into toy box with the map code on screen super fun highly recommend it i'll be in there i'll see you guys in there